Now to the high school baseball game. Two top tier double A programs meeting for a rematch at Bowen Field Bluefield. The Beavers hosting Independence this evening. Patriots up four to one already in the second. The bases are loaded for Carson Brown. Back up the middle, snagged by Riker Brown, but he goes to first, and so a run's going to come across the score. It was 6-1 after two in favor of Indy. To the fourth we go, the lead stretches. Caleb Daniels, the grounder, sneaks under a beaver glove, and a few more will score. It was 9-1. Indy looking for more as Tanner Sipes puts one into center, but Brandon Wiley will have none of that on his watch. Guns down the runner to end the inning at home plate. The Beavers coming back with a little offense. Caleb Fuller going to drop one just fair down the left field line as a run will score, but the late push falls a bit short as Indy improves to 17-1 on the year with a 12-6 win. Now to James Monroe High School. They hosting Wyoming East on a five-game winning streak tonight, and the Mavs quickly letting the Warriors know whose house this is. Garrett Stutz with a drive, brings in an easy run and caps off a five run first for the Mavs. Half inning later, it's East's turn. Sophomore Chandler Johnson with a similar drive, but this time it rings in two runs for East. The Warriors didn't drive two hours to go down that easy. 5-2 after two, an inning later, and East still trying to fight back, but a screamer's hauled in by Andrew Hazelwood, and then the throw to first. That's a double play, and well, he knows it was pretty good. A big inning seals the deal and breaks East's streak. James Monroe wins it 12-4.